Hello everyone, my name is John Bussart. I'm an HP Solution Center engineer for Ingram Micro. I help support servers, blade systems, storage, as well as networking technology solutions from HP. In this series of videos, we're going to explore the HP StoreOnce backup systems. So these systems would be commonly referred to as dedupe systems or DDD appliances. These systems would be backup repositories for your backup jobs from popular tape backup software. So something like HP's data protector, you'd point the backup jobs to this appliance. So the efficiencies you get around this appliance, it, was, it would store your data in a deduplicated fashion. And you'll commonly see the marketing material will say that you could get a, a 20 to 1 deduplication ratio on this box. So for every 1 terabyte of space, you can expect to see about 20 terabytes of backups to this appliance. And certainly, your mileage may vary. What I like to do with my uh, videos is I like to show you a, a popular slide from a PowerPoint that you might see out there and then explain to you what that means within the interface. And today we're going to continue on with this slide, except we're going to focus in a little bit more on the VTL capabilities of this appliance. So VTL just stands for Virtual Tape Library, and it's a way of taking this appliance and make it um, kind of present itself to the world as a tape library um, to, to your backup software. All right, so why do this instead of the NAS capabilities? Well, there's a variety of reasons why, but a lot of them stem from, from performance. Sometimes backup software um, has greater efficiencies backing up to a VTL tape library um, as opposed to a NAS. Um, other reasons would be um, you know, certainly tape's been around for a long time, so, so organizations certainly have well entrenched uh, backup strategies that revolve around tape, and we don't necessarily want to, to you know, rip and replace that type of, type of uh, uh, infrastructure. We just kind of want to take our appliance and insert it into their backup strategies as they exist today. So certainly a VTL would play well into that space. So with that being said, let's explore what this means within the interface. Okay, here's the HP StoreOnce Management Console. Let me log into it. All right, so I get a tree level of items over here. And based on what I select across this tree, all right, I'll get my paid a little bit of information here. In this tree, you'll see something called VTL. And let me expand that out. I got VTL and libraries listed here. So I'm going to select VTL itself. And something I want to point out is auto creation is enabled. I'll explain what that means in a little bit. Let's go down to the libraries category. Currently, I don't have any libraries created within this environment, but I could simply create one by going up here and select create. And then I'm presented with the options um, that I could use in order to create my library. So the type of libraries that are out there, so certainly MSL and EML tape libraries are very popular and recognized by, by most uh, backup software that's out there. Or I could use a generic tape library. I could choose the number of slots, the size of the cartridge, and if I had a fiber channel within my storage appliance, I'd be presented with the option of either iSCSI or fiber channel, but this is just an iSCSI box. I could also choose my drive emulation type, as well as how many drives I want to put inside this tape library. So I'm not going to create this tape library. I'm actually going to cancel this because I want to show you actually how the audio creation feature actually is implemented with this in this appliance. So this appliance is very easy to use. Um, so I'm going to click cancel. And what I'm actually going to do is, is bring up my remote console into my system that is actually running data protector. I'm going to launch the iSCSI initiator. I'm going to select discovery. I'm going to put the IP address of the appliance into this interface. And then I'll click OK. And then if I go over to targets, you'll see two targets have been created. One is for the tape library robotics. And the other one will actually be for the tape library drive itself. And if I go back here, you know, auto creation has actually created this tape library. And it's used the generic, emula generic emulation type. And it's used LTO4 technology. And it's put one tape drive within there. So I can actually go in and edit this if I wanted to. So I'll select edit. 
and let's just bump this up maybe to two tape drives and then select update and then we'll go back to my my data protector system and I'll do a refresh what we should notice in a little bit is is another tape drive will show up so again I've got tape drive one and I've got tape drive two here so I'm going to connect to each one of these initiators So now we're completely connected to this tape library. And now what we'll do is we'll explore what we see inside Device Manager. Right. So this actually looks like a tape drive to this system. We'll expand medium changes, we can actually see the HP uh, tape library, as well as the two tape drives that I've created for this system. Right. Then all we do is we just open up Data Protector. And I would go over to Devices and Media. Right click on Devices and do Auto Configure Devices. This is the, actually this local system where Data Protector is installed. So I'm going to select that. Click Next. Right. And then we could see the tape library that shows up, as well as all the robotics and and uh, the and the uh, drives themselves. And I can select that, select next, and then finish. And now I have this tape up tape library that could perform backup jobs too. So that's the VTL capabilities with the Store Once backup appliance. Um, I hope you found this video informative, and stay tuned for more videos.